I cannot believe this is happening. We are getting Super Easy Ella Prime Battle Goku here. And we've got some other news as well to cover, such as the brand new Ella coming to Dokkan Battle, which is a Gohan Piccolo that exchanges into Piccolo from the Planet Namek Saga, when I think, I hopefully, is when Piccolo freaks up second form Freezer, one of my favorite Piccolo moments as uh until he gets destroyed by third form freezer but that's not the care problem but <laughs> super excited to go through their details with you as well as the animation so i think as the free-to-play goat uh, i shall look at super easy a goku first now for those that don't remember his extreme z awakened stuff of course with super easy A's, they don't change the leader skill or super attack mechanics so Leader skill is going to stay at super class 4 key 90%, extreme class 70% 3 key. Super attack 12 key is greatly raised attack and defense. And ultra super attack is going to cause mega colossal damage to the enemy. Raise allies attack by 30% and chance of performing a critical hit by 10% for one turn. And then the EZA was 59% uh, attack and defense at the start of the turn. 3 key and defense 59%. As the first attacker, attack plus 59% when performing an ultra, or allies key plus three when attacking an extreme class enemy. Once we get into the super extreme Z awakening, we have a attack and defense 159% at the start of the turn, key plus three and defense 159%, and great chance to guard all attacks when this character is first or second in the rotation. We're already off to a good start. It's only a great chance, but at least he's got it on first and second, which is, I like the flexibility. Three key in attack and defense, 159%, and great chance to launch an additional super attack when this character is placed as the second or third. Okay, so there's like Janemba vibes, where it's like, you want to just put him in the second slot, uh, which is great. I'll take it. Uh, I do like the flexibility of putting him in first. Is, that's always what, I guess, free-to-play always wants, a nice first slot unit. Attack and defense 159% when performing a super. All allies 3 key in subclass allies attack defense 30%. Nice. Effective against all types when attacking super class and performs a critical hit. Ooh, that is really good. That changes. I mean, it doesn't really change up his hidden potential all too much because I think I was giving him a max dodge and rest additionals. But yeah, this guy is not too bad. Not too bad. I don't know if he's actually like number one free to play. I would have to look at the stats. But I think uh, he's definitely top 10. He, he's looking really, really good. Thank God they super extreme Z awakened him because I was getting worried when they were going to do LRs and if they were doing free-to-play stuff. So this really confirms to me that uh, we can definitely see free-to-play uh, super extreme Z awakenings. And so a lot of the old LRs are going to get some much needed love. I wonder how they're going to provide the medals though. Is there going to be an extra stage from the extreme Z area or... What's going to happen there? I wonder how they're going to deal with that. Because previously with Super Extreme Z Awakening events, it is from the 30 stage EZA event and they would have a different mode. So yeah, since free to play Prime Battle LRs or just free to play cards in general don't have like a 30 stage EZA for them, I wonder how they're going to do that. So now moving on to the pay to play stuff here. Luckily Global did post the translated version, the English version. So we don't need to get some rough translations. We are getting the full 100% details here. Gohan Kid slash Piccolo, which is great for linking situations. Hopefully their links are very, very good. So we're going to look at the before exchange. Starting it off with the lead skill Planet Dynamic Saga and Bond of Mars Disciple. Category for 4 key, 150% more. Bond of Mars and Disciple buffs, by the way. For the passive skill, to attack defense 200%. Win an additional attack 150% when performing a super attack. 3 key reduces damage received. By 30% chance of performing critical hit plus 30% and launches additional super attack. There's a high chance of becoming a super attack from three turns from the character's entry turn. And three key reduces damage received by 30% chance of performing critical hit plus 30% as the first attack in turn. Three key, wow, so much damage reduction. Three key reduces damage received by 20% chance of performing critical hit plus 20% when there is another planet Namek Saga or Namekian's category ally attack in the same turn. Recovers 20%. HP at the end of the... By the way, this, I think, is going to be great for Nail, right? Because of the Piccolo naming situation. But from what I can see here, it is a very tanky unit. 30% damage reduction, another 30% uh, for the first attacker, and then another 20%. So you're getting a 80% damage reduction just for at least having a Namekian or Planet Namek Saga unit on the team. Hopefully, the exchange makes them 
really strong as well. So unfortunately, there is no Namekian, so you need to run a different Namekian. So you need to run still another Namekian if you want to run Nail, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Because uh, uh, it's going to have the Gohan category stuff. But for the SA, we have raise attack and defense infinitely. And then 8 for the 12 key. And then the 18 key looks like it will massively raise attack and defense for one turn. And causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. You definitely want to just go for the 12 key. If it is most likely for like stacking. And then you transform into Piccolo. Exchange into Piccolo. And then do some massive damage. You want this for sure. The problem is he gets a lot of key through the passive. Um, if you, especially if you put him in the first, I think it's like nine key extra. So it is going to be pretty tough to always get this. So I guess you have to do some additional chance at super. So you have to do some additional super attacks, uh, to build up. And then we have the exchange, which can be activated when HP is 70% or less, starting from the fourth turn from the start of the battle or starting from the sixth turn from the start of the battle. So not bad. Uh, you want to definitely get the um, HP 70% or less and from the fourth turn because that's when the uh, little three-turn buff disappears. So now let's look at the Piccolo once exchanged. So the passive here now becomes an eight key and attack defense 250% with an additional 150% attack when performing a super. Got the 50% damage reduction, high chance to perform a critical hit, launches an additional attack. That's a great chance of becoming a super. Additional 4 key launches an additional super attack starting from the turn in which this character receives an attack. When HP is 70% or more at the start of the turn, an additional damage reduction of 20% in super class allies defense 70%. Whoa! When HP is 70% or less, evades enemies' attack within the turn once only. And from the character's next uh, turn onwards, high chance of evading enemies' attack. Ooh. So that's really good. Um, you drop underneath, you can get the um, dodges guaranteed, and then you still get the high chance, and then you build up your HP because you're recovering 25% HP at the end of the turn, and then you can still get that damage reduction, um, and then a high chance to dodge as well as the defense support. Looks um, pretty cool, but I think he relies on, depending on the SA, we haven't seen it yet, or uh, he's going to rely on those additional attacks on the previous turn, I think. Just because this is the only thing on the passive that's giving him defense. Or oh, other than the support. But he's going to be relying on that 70% damage reduction. Which is still a lot. But it's not like 80%, 90%. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's have a look at the SA. So 12 key. Oh, it looks like it is the exact same. It raises attack defense. Colossal damage to the enemy. Okay. And then 18 key massively raises attack and defense for one turn. Okay, that, that's a 100% bonus in the attack and defense. All right, that kind of saves him. Uh, I definitely like this Piccolo actually quite a bit. So let's have a look at the animations now. So we got the 12 key on here. They're going to use Gohan's anime. Yeah, they're going to... This is where I really wanted this guy as a solo. But you know what? I'll take this. I really wanted the Dark Fest go on that was like that. Wait, just goes angry. Oh yes. My goat. My goat go on. Damn! Sheesh! And then we got the uh exchange. All right. Actually, yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting. This Piccolo absolutely freaks up second form freeze up. I remember when I was a kid watching this episode too. The nostalgia. All right, that was the 12 key. Kind of meh, but... The 18 key is where we really cook things up. Ooh, that lighting. Doom. And we got a KO screen as well. It's not like pretty or anything, but we'll take it. So those are the animations there. So let me know what you guys think about the Piccolo and Gohan in the comment section down below. I wanted to cover some other stuff right here. For the Daima release, Dokkan's having a cool little celebration mid-October, the campaign scheduled. And uh, we're getting this SR 
Daima Goku uh, that will awaken from the um, normal, <laughs> I guess, Goku. That looks great, by the way. I don't think they're going to be any competitive free-to-play units, but it's a cool little thing here. Uh, it says that it will be a like a gifted receiving from the login bonus, so it, it, probably not farmable, but uh, hopefully we can get enough where we can get the SSR art and the uh, uh, the Daima Goku both 100 at the very least, because they're going to be they're different names. Uh, we got SR Goku Daima and then Goku Mini Daima. So maybe it maybe this Goku is that good that you even run him as well and link him up with this guy. Who knows? And that is the same with the Vegeta, which I kind of like the Vegeta way better. Hopefully Vegeta gets a lot of screen time in... I doubt, but like, I hope he does um, in the series. Can't wait for it though. And then we got the kid version. Some other free-to-play news. Area 36 stages 5 to 8 will appear very, very soon. And they will release the uh, medals to awaken the free-to-play Bardock. So now he becomes Super Saiyan Bardock, which is really good. Um, it looks like you'll be needing green gems um, to get the medals here. So yeah, hopefully there's some good link leveling stages as well. As And fingers crossed that this Bardock is pretty good. We're getting a lot of Super Saiyan buffs. So uh, maybe Super Saiyan team is going to be the vibe for free-to-play moving forward. And um, last thing is Petsum Battle is out right now. Um, you can There's a new reward system, which is the gold barber currency, um, sticker currency. And you can get dragon stones. Uh, Kai's even skill orbs. The skill orbs are quite expensive, but it's a nice little touch um, to give more value to Patam Battle, and hopefully they do give out more um, rewards later down the line. But uh, yeah, it's we're moving on to the Boo Saga and a little bit of the Janemba movie stuff. And that's going to be it for today's video. Can't wait for the data download to drop so we can find out some more information about the Super Easy A Goku. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay physical. Peace.